Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When I'm doing my recordings, I'm always looking for a safe place, a quiet place, and a well-lit place to do recordings where I'm not baking in the sunlight or blasting out the brightness on my video camera. You see, in life, I used to do this for a living, but people want to pretend that because I look like the way I do right now, that I'm not the same guy I used to be in terms of my technological skill sets. That isn't true. I know that my spelling is falling because of being hit by a black boy who thought he got the right to hit me once, get away with it because I decided not to pound him down with my bat, because I knew what that little shit would do. He'd come back with three or four of his black friends and beat me up or kill me, and I wasn't into that. But he found me when I was sleeping in a safe space on the university. And despite having me told three different types of police groups, none of them took him away from that building that he's staying at that's a church where pa Pastor Nate is one of the elders there. I told Pastor Nate about him, I warned him about him, but right thereafter, after I talked to Pastor Nate, lo and behold, I got beaten up, bloodied, and stamped. he stomped on my head. I will continue to share this story because it's immoral what he did. It's highly illegal, and you all know it. It was premeditated because he had already pounded me once, but I let him do it so that I wouldn't have to deal with the rest of his shit. In life, an old man knows what is true and what is the law. A seasoned man knows what people do and how they do things. And a man who's been in martial arts a long time can take a little bit of bludgeoning, but he's not going to take your shit. At some point, God is going to catch up to you, you little fuck, and he's going to take care of you. But when a man is passionate like me, you think I'm off my rocker. I'm not off my rocker. I'm fucking angry. I'm ragingly angry at a family of origin. I'm sad to know that my mother is dying and that I've got siblings who are lying, but that's on their life before God. They're going to have to stand before Jesus and proclaim themselves their own gods. But as for me, I'm with God every day because I pray to the Lord like most people do who care about the Lord today. But most people don't. They claim they believe in something above them. They claim they believe in a higher power. They claim they believe in a divine architect. They claim they even have a Holy Ghost around them. But when you try to talk about them, they don't want to say anything about it. Isn't that interesting? how much people lie today. It's true, spirituality and faith is a very private issue. So it's as private to you as it is to me. But I don't like being played with by anyone in a community because, no offense, you send so many motherfucking people that the pattern is beyond obvious. You're obviously Catholic, you're obviously a liar, you're obviously black, you're obviously a player, and openly, I don't care. But you're exhausting me. And that is on your life before God. But at some point, it might be a class action lawsuit against your individualized family, which you can't pay for.